Hi, this is Naomi from HPEP, and today we're here to talk about the difference between technical work and adaptive challenges. So, did you know that there are two different types of work? One is called technical work, and the other is called adaptive challenges. And by being able to identify these types of work, you're better able to problem solve and get to a solution. So, technical work, which we're all very familiar with, is when everyone is on the same page, so mindsets are aligned, there is a clear problem, the fix is quick and easy, and there's usually one main person um, that gives a direction. And everyone just has to respond with yes boss and follow the directions and the problem solved. So for example, for this past retreat that we did, we had to make your beautiful binders. And in order to do that, um, we had to put together a lot of different um, handouts and printouts. So the problem was that everything was in different places, although it was really helpful because our team was on the same page. We all had in mind that we were going to put these binders together. So it was a quick and easy fix because I just had to sort of organize that and ask people to put this page first and this page second. So that's very technical work. An adaptive challenge, on the other hand, is when everyone is on different pages, so different mindsets. Uh, one person might think one way about one thing, and another might think something completely different about the same thing. The problem is fuzzy, and so are the uh, the solutions. They're very complex, and all are involved with the discussion and coming to a conclusion. So for an adaptive challenge, these are challenges which require lots of conversation and back and forth. It's not something that you just have a quick fix for. So we can see here that technical work is very black and white. Again, it's very clear. There are definitely ways to do things and ways not to. Um, and then adaptive challenges are very sort of rainbow and fuzzy. They are, you know, when everyone's on different pages and have different colors that they bring. So that's one easy way to remember it. And this information is from the book called The Work of Leadership by Heifetz and Laurie, uh, 1997. And I first learned about this uh, through the Georgetown Leadership Institute, which was something that really changed my life as far as how I think about leadership and leading teams. Uh, before that, we, as I mentioned, we had two projects called First Step to Success and Hawaii Preschool Positive Engagement Project, where we would go into classrooms and we would work with teachers in the first project though, we only really did technical training where we showed them how to use the timer, how to um, use the program, how to physically mark the papers down. And although it worked, we found that it didn't really sustain. So between First Step and HPEP, um, the Hawaii Preschool Positive Engagement Project, I went to this leadership training and really had this aha moment, like, oh my goodness, we've been um, doing technical work for adaptive challenges adaptive challenge being that many of our teachers were on different pages people had different mindsets about what um, paying attention to things that are going right meant what um, discipline looked like in a the classroom they had very uh, a wide range of ideas about that so the problem was very fuzzy um, so we learned there that oh my goodness we were doing technical training for adaptive challenges and as we um, know that this doesn't work the best. So how do you know if you are in technical or adaptive work? So there's this one very important question that you have to ask yourself to figure this out. And that question is, does this require changes in people's values, attitudes, and or habits of behavior? So I'm going to read that again, because this is a super important question. You might want to jot this down. So how do you know if you are in technical or adaptive work? The question is, does this require changes in people's values, attitudes, and or habits of behavior? If the answer to your question is no, that means you're in technical work, very black and white work, very cut and dry work where, um, you know, for the example where I gave where we're making binders, everyone was on the same page with that. So I didn't have to change anyone's values or attitudes or habits of behavior. So it's very technical work. So if you ask this question and the answer is yes, you have to require changes in values, attitudes, and or habits of behavior, then congratulations, you're in adaptive work. And adaptive work, again, means that everyone's on different pages, 
and that you have to lead conversations and ask questions for people to become on the same page. And what I learned uh, through that workshop and learned the hard way is that the single biggest failure of leadership is to treat adaptive challenges like technical problems. So you shouldn't do technical training for an adaptive challenge. You should do adaptive work for adaptive problems. So that's why right now in the HPEP that we are in now, we do try to infuse technical and adaptive uh, work into our professional development. So if you notice on our opening retreat, we didn't just talk to you and technically train you, although there were some of those things. For example, we did technically train you on how to, um, you know, create your virtual reality cardboard. We did technical training on how to create a Gmail if you don't, didn't already have one or how to join the Google community. Those are definitely technical um, challenges, which we did technical training. But you will also notice that we did a lot of adaptive stuff. So um, picking your values, everyone had different values, picking, um, you know, answering some of your questions. What were your permission slips about? That was adaptive work doing adaptive. Um, those were adaptive challenges, excuse me, and we tried to address them with adaptive work. So you have to be able to match up the two types of work and solutions. So again, don't do not treat adaptive challenges like technical problems. You will run into lots of hiccups, trust me. So in this example, we have this man who is a mechanic and he's going to fix a car. Do you think that this is technical or adaptive work? I'll give you a few seconds. Okay, you're right. This is technical work. So um, he's a mechanic. He knows what to fix. The person turned it in. They asked him to fix a car. Bam, it's technical training. He has the skills to do it, and he knows what to do. It's cut and dry, so he's able to fix the car. Second example is a web designer. So this person, she is creating some videos for HPEP. <laughs> and um, do you think this is technical or adaptive work? So if you guess technical is completely correct, um, technical work because she has the skills and she knows what she's doing. She's in line with our mission and she's creating these amazing videos. So that is technical. Everything's aligned. The last one is if you are scheduling um, a meeting and everyone really does want to meet, for example, you should be scheduling your meetings, um, group meetings with your coaches soon. If you haven't done that already, you'll be hearing from them. So everyone's on the same page. Everyone wants to meet. And all we need to do is a technical thing of um, setting a date. So this would be technical work. So I'm going to go back to this first example, and um, in this example, to change it up a little bit, if the mechanic and the owner of the car run the different pages, if the mechanic wanted to fix everything under the hood, but the owner only had, you know, a certain amount of funds and a certain amount of time and only wanted to fix one thing, you can see that there's a difference in that. So that would be adaptive as far as their conversation. They would have to figure out, you know, the common ground of what they would actually want to do. And that conversation, that process of coming to an agreement is adaptive work. Whereas the actual just fixing of the car is technical. I hope that clarifies some. Same thing with this one. If our video editor had a different idea of what we wanted, for example, she just wanted to create a um, five minute commercial, but the project wanted to create an hour documentary those two things are totally different. So we would have to do some adaptive work about um, coming to a conclusion. So again, that conversation, that coming to um, a similar place or an aligned place, that's adaptive work. Whereas the technical work is the actual editing of the video. And lastly, our meeting, if everyone was on different pages, like someone really wanted to meet and some people did not want to meet, you can see that there's some confusion or misalignment in motivation. So that would have to take some adaptive work before um, the technical work of putting together some dates and times. 
So I have here a chart. If you um, wanted to take some time after this video and list some technical work that you're currently involved with, or even if you're not, can't think of anything, just technical work in general, you can put that in the column on the left and on the right side, some adaptive challenges that you might be in. It could be something in your school, in your classroom, in your relationship at home or with your family. Um, again, anything that has to do with conversations and getting on the same page is an adaptive challenge, whereas something that's very black and white um, is technical work. So I hope that was helpful to learn the difference again between technical and adaptive work. I hope that throughout this cohort you'll be able to tell that there's differences between the two. And please let us know if you have any questions. You're able to um, let your coach know or contact me directly at happyhpep at gmail.com or even comment in the Google community. Okay, and that's, that's all for the first lesson. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Bye-bye.